Good morning. It's a lovely morning. And today, we're hopefully going to get out of Leicester and find ourselves at Kilby Bridge, if all goes to plan. See you later. So here we are, just passing under King Richard's Bridge. And interestingly, we've gone under Bridge 1 here. And then this is, I think, Bridge 112. How's that work? Well, we've just passed from the Saw Navigation to the Grand Union Leicester Arm. And we're just about to enter the mile, which is a mile of dead straight canal. So you can get some speed up down here. Only problem is, there's rowers. So obviously we'll be having to slow down a little bit for them. King Power Stadium, Leicester City's famous Premiership Club, and there's Dreammaker. And there's Judith. Do not be deceived by this idyllic scene. We're near Elston. So I'm told if you moor up here, this or even worse, is likely to happen to your boat. I think we'll keep going. Keep making new friends at the lock, even though this uh, people on this boat they were told we were coming up, but they insisted on filling the lock up again, so they've come down before us. That is just not good boating etiquette, and it's a complete waste of water. People who have boats should love the canals and do what they can to preserve them, not, you know, overuse the water. Just by Everard's Meadows now, walking to the next lock. Cruising along 
near South Wigston. This section of canal was featured in the LEU Part 2 OB to Narbra. I walked along this section from uh, South Wigston, Kilby Bridge, which is where we're headed, to ultimately Narbra. It's a lovely stretch of canal. And I think in my previous video I mentioned that this really does mark the border between Leicester and the countryside. We've got the housing estates of South Wigston on my left, an open countryside behind that hedge on my right. So the canal is cruising through Leicester Edgelands. If you haven't seen that video, why not go and have a look? It's quite a good one. lock now and we've got somebody to share the locks with so that's great he's on his own but he's got off the boat and he's doing the, his side and whatever so that's nice yeah, it's not a lot of space oh there is space. now approaching kilby bridge and here we are at kilby bridge okay. after seven miles and 12 locks of walking nine miles in total from the centre of Leicester. We reckon we did about one and a half miles an hour. But hey, our boating's not about speed. So we'll chill here until tomorrow. And here, removed from the prop, is a sample of our trip, Leicester's finest, including pair of iPhone headphones. Uh, I've never had that round of prop before. Morning and here we are still at Kilby Bridge ready to set off. Not going to do too much today. Yesterday was a bit of a slog and the weather's not so nice. Uh, first port of call of course is going to be that facilities point where we can empty the toilet and fill up the water. After that a few more locks and hopefully a nice peaceful mooring in the middle of nowhere. Here we, okay, here we have Sadie's joined us today. On the dream maker, <laughs> first visit. Unfortunately it's raining, yeah. but anyway, <laughs> it's still very nice. Just at a lock. Pete's forgot the boat pole, so he had to push me off because I was grounded. And he put it down and he's left it. Well, to be fair, the weather's not very nice. So why carry on unless you absolutely have to? This is a beautiful little mooring. And I think we'll stay here. And if we fancy a walk later, there's Wistow Country Park, with its garden centre, coffee shops, etc. morning and it's one of those really still slightly murky mornings hardly a breath of wind and today we plan to get to Foxton which is about two and a half three hours away through Saddington Tunnel and another four or five locks but it's such a peaceful spot here it's very tempting not to move at all but we are meeting somebody at Foxton, so I guess we have to. Look who's come to say good morning.
turnover aqueduct that goes over the river Sense. Okay, so that's the locks done for the day. We've just got Foxton, and then we're at the top. But next we got the Saddington Tunnel. No tunnels and boaters, no question of the love-hate relationship. I'm firmly in the hate camp. Don't like them, get through them as quickly as I can. I see them as a necessary evil. Um, well, that's just the way I feel, so Lights are on, here goes. moment reminiscent of the film Shawshank Redemption when you emerge from the dank confines of the tunnel back into the brightness and the light. That was Judith's first tunnel. I thought she did really well. Suddenly it's all happening. One boat's just um, whisked round in the windy hole and then now this one and then there's another one who's coming the other way. So we'll just wait here for a few minutes.
Oh, beautifully done. So here we are. End of this little cruise. Just turned through the swing bridge at Foxton Locks and at the beginning of the Market Harbour Arm. So next time we're going to go to Market Harbour. Nice cruise. A few little incidents, eh Judith? Well yes, we had a, a lock incident where the rope got stuck round the bollard and the boat was heeling over. So Pete had to quickly go and close the paddles and then open the other paddles to sort us out again. And unfortunately it's rubbed off all the paint. Yeah, well side. we've got over scratching our new paint anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went aground in this very low pound. But the pound was very low. Just coming to, out to of Kilby fair. Bridge, yeah. yeah. And then I nearly so, lost the boat pole. Uh, yes. Because I left it at the lock. <laughs> other than that, it's yeah. all gone swimmingly. Yeah. So uh, hope you enjoyed this little video and we hope you'll come along with us next time. Until then, bye for now. Bye.